Hello my Capricorns, welcome back. All right, so hope you are well. You know the deal, it's a general reading. Take what resonates. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, the link to my website is in the description box below. Um, I got a request to specifically do a love reading, so that's what we'll be looking into today. But before we go into that, when I was focusing on your energy, the Capricorn, during the pre-shuffle, um, I really feel like you're in a crossroads in your life, or you will be, you're coming to this point. And um, it's important that you sit and reflect there. If you feel unsure what direction to go, then simply stay where you are until you have clarity because I'm getting that your instincts are correct. If you have hesitation of moving forward, then do not do so at this moment. Um, wait for a sign. I'm. There is something that's going to be clear as day to you, and it's going to dawn on you, I feel like. For some of you, this could be in regards to a relationship. For others of you, this is just like, some sort of something that you're seeking an answer in. In regards to yourself or your life path, some it'll be different for everybody, but I, I'm getting that you it will hit you. It's like a sign will become present. You will know it clear as day is what I'm hearing. Like it, it'll just become so apparent and it'll hit you out of nowhere. But until then, you're going to be kind of in this reflecting mode because and because reflection is always very important. Thinking about the past in order to move forward properly, and I and um, I think the energy is pretty good for you. You feel you feel you feel very deep, Capricorn. I want to say that your life will be different forever, and the universe is calling on you to do the right thing. Um, do the right thing for yourself or if there's for some reason I'm feeling like there's children involved in something for some of you and in which case choose the right thing for the children Capricorn what is best for so yeah no children then obviously what to do the right thing for you This may require some forgiveness. And especially forgiving yourself. If you are hard on people, you are equally as hard on yourself. Is what I'm feeling. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what's going on for Capricorn and the person they're dealing with in love, please. Show me what's going on for Capricorn and love. Hmm. Yes, the universe is going to guide you someplace. Someplace entirely new. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, this is positive. Okay, the Empress, the Two of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, Capricorn. Are you the Empress, or is your person the Empress? Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Doesn't have to be, obviously. <coughs> I will say, though, that this person has something, they have Libra, most likely this individual has Libra somewhere in their chart, perhaps in Venus or Moon, something like that. Does Just because 
they have a very Venusian energy. Saturn, you're ruled by Saturn, so Saturn loves Venus. So this is a very cozy connection. This is somebody that you could potentially have a lot of happiness with and be with for a long time. I'm hearing like 10 years. Maybe this is somebody that you have been with. I mean, it just all depends. I feel like you already know this person. They could be older than you. It doesn't have to be. They, they could be just more serious, I'm getting as well. <clears throat> What's going on for Capricorn in love? But there could have been... have several options or several things you're thinking about and trying to do projects you're working on here I see you feeling tired and resting and just having a lot on your mind seven of cups this person there could be confusion between you or maybe you find them just confusing okay what's going on with Capricorn in person in love um, yeah, but look, either way, I'm, I'm feeling like once you connect with this person, if you haven't already, or something's going to shift, and it, see, I mean, this energy is a little bit unpredictable, but it kind of happens quickly, so this could kind of all hit you so fast that it's confusing. I mean, there's conflict. What What is happening here? Work could be a conflict or somebody is working or dealing with something else. It's interesting because this all looks really good, but I'm... Like there's something that's unclear here though. There could be issues with communication in, in between you and this person or technology differences. But I do think when you connect in person, technology differences, is that what I just said? Something to do with technology or there's some there's a conflict in communication or emotional understanding. It could be more on your end. You might not know how to communicate with this person. You may find this empress to be a little bit intimidating or whoever's energy this takes on, if this is you know, the feminine and the masculine, whatever. Um, <clears throat> they just don't... <laughs> It's almost like you're not sure where that's gonna, this is going to go, but you feel very drawn to this person. Even if you have a lot of options, they stick out in your mind. Or this is a specific memory. But I'm seeing like unexpected happiness, but there could be like some conflicts and struggle and um, other people kind of trying to get in the way of this connection, or there could have been. This is quite interesting, Capricorn, but it's got a good feeling to it. You've definitely got um, something going on here. It's an op you're going to have an opportunity to connect with someone, and they're just, I don't know, it's very Venusian, this person. And I'm telling you, you're going to love it. If you, ha if you don't already know who this is, you're going to love it. Maybe this is somebody you've been with for a long time. Um, there's going to be some sort of spark. You could also be a little bit confused on what makes them happy. That's another thing for some of you. <laughs> so, okay. So what does the person that Capricorn is dealing with in love, how, 
What did they think of Capricorn? How do they feel about Capricorn, please? The person that Capricorn is How do they feel about Capricorn? Um... They may have missed an opportunity to connect with you due to like competition or conflict or just something getting in the way. I feel like they feel as if they missed an opportunity with you or, but I feel like, I, I, I think they want to make one happen again here with this magician. They're trying to manifest, but they may not reveal this. Because I, I think that they sense that you're a soulmate, this individual. And I and I also want to say that when they're around you, and this could be in the future. Again, I don't know how much time you spent with this person, but they'll feel very calm around you. I'm almost, I'm almost feeling like a balance, kind of Libra energy. But I'm hearing like a long time coming as well. Okay, what else do they feel about Capricorn? What do they think? Whoops. <clears throat> I think they wonder if you're dealing with someone else. Or you could also wonder this about them, but I feel like they wonder, there could be a Pisces that's significant to this equation on the outskirts. But they also, I feel like they can sense you. Because with this high priestess, it's very intuitive. I get, I get a lot of like telepathic connecting with the high priestess. But yeah, I don't know if they're sure, they're <laughs> stuttered. They're sure what to make of you. This person may actually stutter or just be very hesitant. You might not be saying much to them. But you're something that they want. I think they, with the star card, I feel like they find you very attractive. You're kind of like, you know, you catch their eye immediately. You're just, just right for them. You're, you're balanced, you're blend. So that's why I feel like they're kind of disappointed that they didn't get a chance to connect with you or something happened. Like, so something like maybe didn't work out. I don't know. The timing was off. Um, all right, so how does Capricorn feel about the person they're dealing with in love? I feel like this situation could possibly improve. It's got a lot of good potential energy. It's almost like there's like a fog around it. There could be... There could have been another person manifesting trouble in this connection, if that makes sense. Like other individuals trying to stop this energetically or actually, you know, purposefully. All right, well, how does Capricorn feel about the person that they're dealing with in love? You know what? I kind of want to say you have a similar energy. Capricorn. How does Capricorn feel? I think you want to move towards this person. See, you guys, yeah, see, there's a similarity here. I, I feel like you maybe walked away. It might have been you that had to stop speaking, perhaps, or, but I don't, I don't necessarily, because something was missed here, or someone didn't show up, I don't know. 
I'm seeing you kind of missing someone. I think you miss this person. They miss you too. You guys look the same. Look, look at this. Look at you. My goodness. Why don't you talk to each other? This is pitiful. <laughs> I'm not laughing. I mean, but seriously, you do match. Your energies match to a certain degree. So there's something to be said about that. I think you still hold on to this and um, and they do, but they're very, they feel like it might have been missed. Now, and then you both have temperance energy as well. So in time, there could be, because the blend feels right. This feels compatible here. It's just about how to move forward, when to move forward. Uh, the nine of wands on your side. So it's like um, the battle fought, maybe not won. Maybe this didn't work out in the past for whatever reason, or there's been struggles to connect at all. Maybe you've haven't been able to connect. I don't. I, I don't know, but this also sometimes means like trying just one more time. Sometimes one more time is all that's needed. Um, <clears throat> and one more time, so you shall try. Princess, I believe, Princess of Pentacles, yes. Saying something practical, casual could be intellectual conversation as well trying to understand talk about things calmly <laughs> a kind gesture I feel like this could be you but whatever energy feels right but I'm seeing somebody here trying to open up the communication a little bit more so because this is someone there's passion here the king of wands pursues what he wants he doesn't, he doesn't give up after the first try if he really wants something. And I think that one of the energies, you could be dealing with a fire sign, or this could be you, again, pursuing what you want. But you're going to wait for the clarity because right now there's a little bit of mix-up. But there is a soulmate here. You are not confused about that. So um, <clears throat> before I close it off, I'm just going to do a quick peek for the absolutely single Capricorns that aren't dealing with anyone and see what the energy is. Single Capricorns in the love universe, please. Show me single Capricorns in love. Are you being open to love, single Capricorns? I'm not really feeling that energy. It feels a little closed. Yeah, <laughs> Four of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. You could be focusing more on your home or something, you know, stability. Okay, single Capricorns in love, please. Single Capricorns, what's going on? Working. Some of you may be going to school, building something. Doing your thing here. You could still be very confused about a situation that you experienced a while ago that you felt could have been with a water sign or a Pisces. And as I say, the Queen of Cups comes up. Yeah, I sense that there was like emotional confusion in the past for you. So I think you're focusing on work and something that you're, tr that you're trying to do. You could also be building a friendship here with this water sign. Queen of Cups. <clears throat> What's going on for single Capricorns in love? All right, but this person has a broken heart. Um, why are they showing them to you? I'm almost feeling like there is a potential person here that's around you, but I, I don't know. It's like somebody's heartbroken here. Maybe both of you, somebody could be heartbroken by an air sign perhaps. And it's almost like, 
I see an offer, but in the future, maybe? I'm, it, there's, it just seems like it, someone isn't paying attention. They're feeling, they're feeling sorry for themselves. So if this is the person, because something happened to them. This could be the person that's a potential for you in your work environment, school environment, whatever, or for you. It's like somebody's got a water sign on their mind or something. And I also feel like you, if there's, there, you might not want to meet new love either because you could already know who and what you want. Could be somebody that you already walked away from or, or maybe you're just not, you, you just know what you want with the Nine of Cups and it's, and that's kind of where your focus is. I just sort of feel like, yeah, it seems pretty cut and dry to me in regards to that. So, but there's definitely some interest in your environment around you, in your work environment around you or wherever you congregate and collabor collaborate with others. Um, I just don't know if you'd be that interested in it per se. I think you want someone else. Anyway, I'm done repeating myself. Goodbye, Capricorn.